Shot clock down to six. Tippin Jr. drives on Ivy. Gigi against the shot clock with one second. Drives, flips, and gets it to drop in. Come on, putting it up on the rim just soft enough for it to fall in as Darren misses that run to the basket as he continues to chew on the mouthpiece. Tippin drives, banks, hits. Awoma with the pitch ahead to Jaden Ivy. Trying to weave his way through. Pippen with a takeaway. Pippen missing the reverse. Too far underneath the basket. Get into it quickly and try to avoid those one-on-one -on -one possessions. He said defensively, let's just continue to keep them to one shot on the defensive end. And then when we get the rebound, get about 16 minutes of court time. All right, the other thing is he's playing off of the ball a lot. Now Malachi Flynn in a game will do the handling of the basketball. Jordan Goodwin laces a three. I also feel like his offense has just continued to get better and better as the games have gone along. Good hands. Pippen, good hands, knocked it away. Ball loose, picked up by the Grizzly. Pereira trying to sky in for the rebound. It's three on two back the other way, and Pippen blocked the attempted lob. Goodwin looking. Pereira! It's been so good to the Grizzlies, and no need for them to settle for the perimeter three. Shot clock down to five. Pippen, dump off Jemis. But they're also involved in the play groups. They're on the floor helping players also. It's Scotty Pippen Jr. gets that runner. The guys that have gone from two-way contracts to full NBA contracts of Pippen three. Bango! Scotty Pippen Jr. Only two in the first half. He's got five here at the top of the third. On teams that have stars, major stars, and budding stars, so he knows how to talk. Pippen with the lob, and Jemison, another throwdown. But, Brevin, we've been around this league a long time, and the evolution of how franchises and teams are run. Pippen, another three, bango. Pippen has a Roma on him. Takes him in the lane. A fadeaway jumper by Pippen. It's in. Well, Scotty Pippen Jr. showing his scoring prowess, what he used to do when he was at Vanderbilt, and then comes up with another steal. Fourth steal for Pippen tonight. Goodwin. Oh, wow. Jemison over the. Gigi. Going a little speed, dancing through the lane. Pippen, a no look setup. Goodwin repositions for three. Bango. They have done a good job percentage wise. Pippen dispossessed. Run out for Flynn. Grizzlies didn't give up on it. Duran. And Pippen will get called for his third fight. Arabia couldn't unleash a three. Pippen. Pass a little too much mustard on it for Pereira to handle. Oh, and a block by Pippen. Pippen. Pass a little too much mustard on it for Pereira to handle. Oh, and a block by Pippen. <laughs> they just didn't want to clear him to play. They felt it was too risky. Of course, you remember Hank Gathers passing away. Pereira gets another punch. When he was coaching on a previous stop, I think with New Orleans, Pippen drives, 10 to shoot, got by Flynn, flares it out. A Pereira triple. Bango! Mal Pereira! And donated. Strong man. And, in, and I think he's the right man for the job for this business team. It's just about getting the right players. Sasser with a miss. Pippen, 12, 7 assists, 4 steals, floats it. I think that was supposed to be a lot, yes. but just threw it just a little bit. Hand off for Pippen, guarded by Sasser. Scotty in the lane, hangs and hits Scotty Pippen Jr. 14 and 7. So that was 18 in the G League. Pereira screens and through the hands of Simpson. Fine this season. Now there'll be some other decisions that have to be made, but you gotta be extremely happy with what you have seen from this Grizzlies team that they will have to talk about, but there it has been. Yes, it's been down in terms of the wins and losses, but there have been a lot of positives throughout the season. Pippen misses a step back three. Jemison, another rebound. And a lot of others have combined to find guys that can be contributors. Jemison lost it. To be on the floor and experience NBA games. The other thing, good move here, since just not able to finish. The other thing for Jake, though, we found out that more to a lot more to this game than just worrying about is he going to be a three-point shooter. Tonight's game produced by Scott Zachary was directed by Tom Hewitt. Brian Wright produced the graphics. 
Joe Abalos ripping and clipping the replays, and there have been a lot of highlights for Joe to work on tonight.